Space is very vast, so you actually have a good chance of discovering something that nobody's ever seen before. There are two students here tonight who made some pretty amazing discoveries of their own. First of all, Caroline Moore, when she was only 14 years old, she became the youngest person ever to discover a supernova. When I was like four, I would say, it was the first time I got to look through a telescope, which was pretty interesting. And then when I was 10, I got my first telescope for Christmas, and it kind of all started this new um, interest in astronomy with me and my dad. And we got really involved with our club, and eventually the opportunity came for me to join a supernova search team. And earlier this year, Lucas Bolliard, a high school sophomore from West Virginia discovered some unusual data that turned out to be an extremely rare kind of star called a pulsar. And Lucas was explaining to me uh, just what a pulsar was so that I wasn't embarrassed when I came out here. It's um, basically a star that exploded into a supernova and um, basically the core is left. It, it compresses into itself and it's born spinning very rapidly. Like I said, it's spinning so we pick up those radio waves. From the moment humans first walked on this earth, we've been endlessly fascinated by the stars. As long as we've been around, we've been trying to unlock the mysteries of the universe and figure out our proper place in the cosmos and somehow make sense of it all. Don't let anybody tell you that there isn't more to discover. Don't let anybody tell you that there's knowledge that's beyond your reach. There's something out there for each and every one of you for, uh, to discover. And seeing how it's a beautiful night, and we've got a bunch of telescopes out in the lawn. Let's get started together. Um, well, this year is International Year of Astronomy, which is um, just basically a year that the world, the, the community of amateur astronomers is trying to get the public involved, and especially kids who are our future of the world, um, to really show them the opportunities that they have and to really encourage them to stay in school and to follow their dreams. It was just amazing getting recognized by the president himself. For kids all across America seeing this, I, I think it would really motivate them to make discoveries of their own. 